Flames shot through two manholes on Remsen Avenue in East Flatbush, including one dangerously close to a utility pole. It took hours before the flames went out. Crews worked into the evening to repair the damage. But I have an alarm system, which alerted me to the carbon monoxide level was really, really high. Levels inside a vet Tucker's home have returned to normal, but she's without heat on this cold winter night because utility crews shut off her gas lines as they work to repair cables burned in the fire. No heat because I have gas, so no heat. They said they'll check it in the morning and we're supposed to turn it on tomorrow. Manhole fires wreaked havoc across Brooklyn, Queens, and Manhattan Saturday, leading to more than 1,000 power outages, according to Con Ed. In Sunnyside, Queens, utility crews cordoned off a smoking manhole, and a similar scene in Washington Heights, with gray smoke billowing across St. Nicholas Avenue. Earlier this week in Brooklyn, manhole explosions damaged three cars in Crown Heights and knocked out power to a city block in Diker Heights. Officials blame the fires on melting snow and road salt that seeped into the manholes, damaging underground cables. In 2017, Con Ed installed sensors and manholes to alert engineers when electrical cables were damaged and at risk of catching fire. It's unclear if any of the manholes that caught fire Saturday had those sensors. Utility crews say they will be working through the night to repair the damage. Reporting in East Flatbush, Brooklyn, Matt Kozar, CBS 2 News.